A strike by the International Longshoremen's Association could have cost the U.S. economy about $4 billion a day, causing major supply chain issues ahead of the holiday shopping season. But both sides have agreed to suspend the strike until mid-January, although there are still issues to be worked out. Here's ABC's Alexis Christophorus with the details. Ports along the east and Gulf coasts are once again up and running. A tentative agreement between the International Longshoremen's Association and the U.S. Maritime Alliance, which represents the ports and shipping companies, will pause the strike until January 15th, giving both sides time to negotiate other sticking points, such as protections against automated machines. Sources familiar with the negotiations tell ABC News wages will go up by 62 percent over the six-year contract. Not as much as the union wanted, but a lot more than shipping companies originally offered. In terms of dollar amounts, base pay under the old contract was $39 an hour. That will increase to $63 an hour by the end of this contract. That's about $131,000 per year. Many dock workers already earn more than that after bonuses and overtime. President Biden applauding the tentative deal, predicting a final contract deal will be reached. Dock workers are going back to work, and uh, the next 90 days we're going to settle everything. The CEO of the National Retail Federation also celebrating the suspension, writing, the sooner they reach a deal, the better for all American families. In scenes reminiscent of the early days of the pandemic, consumers lined up. I was waiting online. Because I know people panic every time they hear something. Panic buyers clearing toilet paper from shelves at some big box stores, despite the fact that the disruption would not have affected domestically produced tissue paper. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News, New York. And according to ABC News, dock workers are already back on the job offloading cargo that had been sitting on container ships when the strike first began.